Wow, show them the view, babe. Oh, yeah. Where are you holding out? I'll show you this view. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, we are staying two nights at the Bellagio that we were able to redeem through the My Vegas Slots app. Let's go check out the room. The grand entryway. And let's start off with the restroom. A beautiful full-size tub. Great for bubble baths. We have a very nice vanity over here. Fortunately, I'm a single vanity, but I like the look. The wallpaper in here is really cute also. We got a nice little toilet and a nice standing shower for people that don't like to take baths. Now let's go check out the room. Check out your outfit for the day. And we have this beautifully decorated king size bedroom. The bed is super comfy. You also have this nice little bench here for ladies putting on your heels for the night. You have a TV with the HDMI plug-in cables. It's here as well. Very nice cabinets. And for those that are working away from home or school like we are, Obsessed for you to do your work on. Wow, show them the view, babe. Oh, yeah. Where are you holding out? I'll show you this view. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that night that I went a little cray, uh, I wanted to check in early so what we weren't able doing? to ask for maybe a view. So this is what we got. But we worked with it, so that's all that matters. And then you have these comfy lounge chairs as well. The back looks very nice. Yeah, if, if I have to be completely honest with you, we're... <laughs> Magical mushrooms. Hey, what's up you guys? Today we are coming to you from La Mojada Loca. Just located four miles from Caesars Palace, a quick 15 minute drive to immerse yourself in a wonderful Mexican cuisine and culture. Today, 
we decided to try some of their drinks. This is their Cantirito, which is grapefruit soda with lime juice and tequila with a nice little chili powder on the rim. And we just got our fresh house-made guacamole. Now let's see what Guillermo's having. What am I having again? You are having El Curado de Mezcal. It is a mezcal-based drink with hibiscus juice and lime juice as well. It looks very good. It looks very good. Let's go ahead and try this drink out. Fun fact, this is my first ever canterito. Oh man, and that's delicious. You can taste that there's a good amount of tequila in there, but it's masked so well with the soda and the lime juices. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try this curado de mezcal. I've actually never had mezcal before either. So let's see how that tastes. That is fantastic. You definitely get that nice tequila warmness, but you also get a nice floral taste at the end. And that's definitely coming from the hibiscus flowers. Very excited for this. I love guacamole. Oh, come on here. Shit broke. <laughs> yeah, I come in with a bigger chip now. Rescue team. All right. So creamy. It still has that nice texture with the avocado chunks, the tomato, the onions, the cilantro. Wow, this is some of the best guacamole I've ever had. Now I'm ready to dig into my mojara loca. I don't even know where to start. I got myself a piece of, of <laughs> octopus. Mmm. Wow. I'm not big on octopus because I hate chewing, but this octopus is so good. It's just flavorful and melts in your mouth. Now let's go in for a piece of that octopus and that mojara. Mmm. These are some amazing flavors coming out of this. It's really hard to find a nice flavorful mojara, and they have done it. You just dip in your bite in this caldo, and now there I got a little bit of shrimp, a little bit of mojara, and a little bit of octopus. These shrimps are huge. And it's topped with mushrooms, my favorite. We have found ourselves once again at the Mojara Loca. The last time we came here, we had a phenomenal time. The guacamole was amazing. Our plates were amazing. Everything was sensational, phenomenal. The service was great. Today, they told us it was gonna be like an hour, hour 20. It ended up being close to like two hours. So just be aware of that. Maybe you'd want to come, check in, and then maybe like grab a taco or two of Jack in the Box. Little appetizer. And today is Sunday, which is known to be a family day when everybody comes out to eat. So if you do want to try this place out, maybe any other day besides Sunday would be good. Delicious. Just as amazing as last time. I will still vouch and say that this is my favorite favorite guacamole. Definitely my favorite guacamole. Mm -hmm. Blows Chipotle out of the water. I hate Chipotle. And to start myself off, I ordered a campechana, which is a shrimp and octopus cocktail. My last plate was the mojara loca that had shrimp and octopus on top of my fried fish. The octopus was amazing. This was the first place that I was able to chew on it and it wasn't too chewy. Mm. What I like about this one is the cocktail itself is not overpowering. So you really get that fresh seafood taste which if you're a seafood lover like I am, you'll enjoy. They give you giant shrimp. Take a look. Real good guys, just look at this. Shrimp, enchilada sauce, queso, and crema. 
Let me start off by saying this enchilada sauce has to be one of the best sauces that I've had. I have tried. It's perfect. It's not too overpowering. It blends very well with the shrimp. Like everything on this plate is delicious. Now we're gonna go over to my plate real quick. I got the alambres, which I have never tried before, but I a lot of my friends have always mentioned them. And I wanted to give them a try. So we have a uh, chicken and steak with some green bell peppers, cheese, and some tocino, bacon. Oh wow, and ham. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How come I've never tried this before? I don't know, you're the Mexican one. It's like, it's dank up fajitas, basically. Yeah. It's the fatty version of fajitas. You got your chicken, your steak, bacon, ham, cheese, grilled peppers, onions. This is an amazing choice here. I'm sorry guys, just like last time, we're gonna have to leave you early because I am trying to get in on this.